The next thing we need to do is create this top section that contains this chat GPT menu as well as the avatar on the right here. So to tackle this, the first thing is to create this chat GPT menu. We're going to be using the menu component from Chakra UI right here. So I'm in the docs, the menu docs for Chakra UI and we have our snippets already added. So let's look for an example that is similar to this and grab the code and we begin building off of that. So for this, this is an example we'll be using. See that it works very similar to how the chat GPT menu works. We have this menu items right here and we're just going to grab the code for this here. Go back to our code and create a new file called chat GPT menu. All right, so I'm just going to paste what I have here. Obviously change the name chat GPT menu. We export it because so we're going to be using it in app.js, the TSX rather. Okay, so now we begin to make a couple of tweaks to this. Um, first up is instead of having open, this is going to say chat GPT. And let me see what else. So all of this is going to change. Remember, so let me show you something. So when we click here, we see that this is a single menu item. But when we go into chat GPT, we see that this menu item consists of different parts. We have this icon, this title, description, and really another element here. So what we can do is to make a component out of this. So let's go back to our code. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to leave one menu item, take out all of this. And at the top, we're going to create a new component. We're going to call it a menu item detail component. And we're going to return just an H tag. And really this menu item, remember we said that it has an icon, a title, a description, and then another element. So let's create an interface for this interface menu item detail props. And for our icon, we're just going to say this icon is react.react element. For our title, this is going to be a string description. It's going to be a string by spelled description, right? Let me just confirm description. Perfect. And our element, any elements from chat GPT, we can see that, you know, one, our description is optional because this last menu item doesn't have a description and our element can just be a React element. So let's implement this. make her description optional. Perfect. So we pass the props as menu item detail props. And of course we destructure all of this icon, title, description, element, spread the rest, destructure all of this from props. Oops, props. All right, so let's continue building the structure of our menu item detail. So within our H stack, let's see what we have. We have the title and description stack together. And then we have our icon on the left within a circle. And we have the element on the right. Let's build that in. So I start with my stack of title and description. Give this text, what text? I'm just going to say tattoo. The same thing, just that this will say description. All right. For our icon, which would be on the left, we're just going to wrap it within a circle component. And we're going to say icon. 
And finally, for the element that will be on the right, we're just going to wrap it within a box and say element import box. And of course, let's not forget to spread rest on each stack. Yeah, that's about it. So right now, this is just the structure of the menu item detail. We have not passed any styles to it yet, but let's render menu item detail within our menu and see how it shows up. I'm going to take out all of this and within here, menu item detail. Yeah, we're going to render it here. It's throwing an error right now because we need to pass some props into it. So let's see what we need. Um, the title is charge PT plus a smart model and more this icon okay let's add it in title is chat gpt plus plus not please <laughs> all right our icon since it's a react element we're going to add the chat gpt icon we already have it in our chat in our icons folder right here so i'm going to import it it's chat gpt plus icon right there also going to pass in the description right and finally we need to pass in the element so the element is a button which is already imported at the top and this should say upgrade All right, so let's render our chat GPT menu within app and see what this looks like right now before we start passing any of our styles to it. So within top, I'm just gonna render chat, oops, chat GPT menu right here let's see what this gives us so so this is how it looks like right now compared to this you see that we still have a couple of style tweaks to make first up we need an icon this arrow down chevron down icon is missing right now from our icon um the variant also probably needs to change and regarding our menu item detail right here this button Feels like an outline button this is different you know the gap between this is too much all of these little tweaks right now let's go back to our code to make these changes so we'll start with our button and we'll give it a variant of outline also give it a size right now it's too big make it a small size and we make the border radius full so that's that with our button. So going back into our menu item detail, we're going to make the remaining style changes right now. First up is on this tag. We're going to give it a gap of zero. By default, tag always comes with some gap, but now we are removing the gap within the elements of the stack. We're also going to give our circle some styles. We're going to give it a size of eight. We we'll take down the text of description and make it a font size of extra small. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Really nice. We are nearly there. See how this is looking. Okay, a couple of tweaks. We need to add in our icon. Yeah, that's very important. Let me see. I'm also going to take down the size of this button right here as well as the color of my description yep and add a background color on my circle yep. let's make those changes so right now i'm going to make it an fg.muted color for my button i'm going to give it a size of extra small yeah, this is more like it. Circle will take a background color of 
bg dot subtle the eight star could take a width of 100 percent let's go back to our chat gpt menu here we're going to make a couple changes so instead of the variant being outlined we want the variant to be a ghost we also want to add in our menu icon we take out the small size and make our font size large font weight of bold and give it a color of fg.muted all right and the final thing is to change the size of this button right here this will take an extra small size okay with this style tweaks let's see how our menu shows up now one thing you notice is that this upgrade button should be on the very right. We can achieve this by adding a flex of one to this stack that wraps the text elements. And I'll also be making a couple more style tweaks in the code. Let's continue. So on this stack, we add a flex of one to it. In terms of the menu, let's see what we need to make change. On the main content, we give it a minimum width of 320. We also give it a border radius of 2 extra large. Between each menu item, let's add a padding Y of 2. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is looking really nice already. So with this, we can go on to add the remaining items within our menu. So this is ChatGPT, great for everyday tasks. Just gonna copy this menu item. ChatGPT. So be ChatGPT. ChatGPT menu icon. Description. On element changes, right now we see that this is a check icon. So that's the good thing about making this an element because we can literally make it anything we want. So we bring in our check icon. We add a font size of large to it. And finally, duplicate this again for our last menu item. This is temporary chart. Temporary chart. Because we change the icon as well. Doesn't take a description. Let's see what the element is for this menu item. So we'll go back to chat GPT and we see that this is actually a switch component. Chakra UI comes with its own switch element, which is awesome. Um, this underline right here is a menu separator, which is available in Chakra UI as well. So let's make this changes. So we're going to import switch from snippets. There is a small size. At the top here, we're also going to add a menu separator component. Yep, that's perfect. So let's go back to our UI and see how this shows up. Yeah, looks really perfect and close to what we want. This is how our menu looks like right now. It looks pretty close to what we have in chat GPT, which is awesome. We are going to complete this by adding the avatar components and laying the menu and the avatar properly in the top section.